Hello everyone, apa khabar? One suffix that appears a lot in Malay is the suffix nya, N-Y-A. And we've seen one of the usages as a possessive pronoun, particularly for the third person. So if we have nouns followed by the suffix nya, nya in this case would mean his or her. For example, rumah nya, Bag nya, anjing nya, would simply mean his or her house, his or her bag, his or her dog. It can also mean its, the possessive pronoun if it's not for a person. For example, eko nya, which means its tail, or warna nya, which means its color. And in all of these cases, you can actually break the phrases down using the word ear or dear, rumah ear or rumah dear, back dear or back ear, warna ear, which provides the same meaning. And we've looked at this in a previous video. Now, to expand this further, we also have nya following words that are not nouns. For example, verbs or adverbs. Selalunya, biasanya, nampaknya, patutnya or sepatutnya. So in these cases, nya does not act as a possessive indicator. So for the word selalu, for example, it means often or usual. Selandunya means frequently or usually. Or the usual is. The word biasa means normal. So biasanya means normally or the norm. So in most cases, selalunya and biasanya can be used interchangeably because it means usually, or something um, along the lines of, it is usual that, for example, Saya selalu jumpa Amy. Saya selalu jumpa Amy. That means, I meet up with Amy often, or I see Amy often. But if it's, selalunya, saya jumpa Amy. Selalunya, saya jumpa Amy. That would mean, usually, I meet Amy. Okay, so there's a slight difference if selalu or biasa is followed by nya, but the meaning does not stray too far from the original meaning, which is to mean often or normal. Another example is the word sebenar. Sebenar. So benar means true as in true or false. Sebenarnya would mean truthfully or the truth is actually or honestly. So you're indicating something that is real or true or when you want to state a fact. Sebenarnya dia tak salah. Sebenarnya dia tak salah. Actually, he is not wrong. Sebenarnya, saya tak suka dia. Sebenarnya, saya tak suka dia. Honestly, I don't like her. Or in other words, the truth is, I don't like her. Okay? Another word that is commonly seen is nampaknya. Nampak is to see or to appear. So, nampaknya means it looks like or it appears that or it seems that. Nampaknya dia belum sampai lagi. Nampaknya dia belum sampai lagi. It seems that she has not arrived yet. Alright, so that's the second usage of the suffix nya. 
Now, the third usage, um, so this is more of a colloquial speech. If nya follows an adjective, for example, besarnya or jauhnya or gelapnya, besar, jauh and gelap are adjectives, meaning big, far or dark. So if nya follows an adjective, it is mostly to express um, disbelief or admiration, emphasizing the higher degree or the higher amount. So besar nya would mean that's big or it's so big. Jauh nya means that's far or it's so far. Gelap nya means it's so dark or that's dark. So if you have the following dialogue, Rumah Kumar dekat Mua. Rumah Kumar dekat Mua. Kumar's house is in Mua. And if someone responds, Jauhnya, Jauhnya, that would mean that's far or that's so far. So it's a, in a way to express disbelief that Kumar's house is that far. So if you say, Rumah Kumar ada sembilan bilik tidur. Rumah Kumar ada sembilan bilik tidur. So that means Kumar's house has nine bedrooms. And if someone responds, Banyaknya, Banyaknya. So that expression indicates an admiration or disbelief that Wow, that's a lot, or that's so many. Okay, and again, this is for adjectives, and you can expand this further um, with other adjectives. For example, lambat means late. Lambatnya means that's so late, or sedih means sad. Sedihnya means I'm so sad, or that's so sad. Okay? If someone is commenting on your child, baiknya anak awak. Baiknya anak awak. So that means your child is so kind or your child is so good. So it expresses uh, an admiration in a way. Alright, so that's it. Um, those are the main usages of the suffix nya. If you do have any questions, please drop a comment below.